All right, welcome back. Time to talk about the cost of the country's economy and Kenya's inflation climbed to a 61 high um, in a July on soaring food and fuel prices as well as cost of home equipment and appliances. The monthly inf inflation data by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics now shows the overall rate of inflation in July was 8.3% compared to 7.9% in June. High cost of living is a political agenda during this election season, with Kenyans calling on urgent action. Baldin Waliaula was on a mission to find out what 1,000 shillings can purchase in Kibra, Nairobi. This is her story. In Kibra, Nairobi. We meet Amina Asha, a mother of two. She takes us to her one-roomed house. A quick glance at the kitchen shows no activity at all. Indications that perhaps no cooking took place since morning. She was running a small food vending business, but it seems no cooking is taking place. <laughs> Ama chapati, mikiuza. Lakini sasa mishu mikuwa mangumu. Sa zingino toki wa gonjwa hivi. Iyo yyo pesa ndo natoa tena. Na wapelekea hospitali. Iyo yyo ndo uwa tunakula nao chakula. Sasa zingine inakosekana kama saizi sina kabisa ni meka. She explains that even getting manual jobs has been an uphill task for her. Kile mtu analia hana pesa, hana pesa. Asa tezo kazi za hizo vibada za kufuza kufuwa pia hakuna. Her youngest son has not gone to school despite being of age as she cannot raise the required initial school fees. Kini saizi sijapata pesa kumungiza shuli. Ujapa kumpelekezi skuli za hizi za nasari siyo. Nasari atakana pesa. Asa kuna shuli atakana nito shilingi elfu saba na miatano. Umtote wangu apati kuingia. Asome some alafa kisha maliza ndo ni mpeleke government ya. Anze kuendelea pesa. The high cost of living in the country is becoming unbearable to most Kenyans, especially to someone like Amina, who has to purchase almost every household item, including water. Sukari, ni shilingi salasina tano robo. Nikisha nyo salasina tano robo, nita kuja pegine nikona ungangano kidogo, nita tengeza mpuri. Mkate wa maji, watoto wa patekula, asubui. Kwa siku nzuri, natumia shilingi miatatu. Ama miatatu wa msini kendelea. Chakula peke. Alafu sasa cho pia tuwalipa. Manake hapa kibila cho na juwa hakuna. Manyumba tunakodisha lakini haina cho. Cho tunenda kwa cho kila siku, tunalipa shilingi kumi. Yani tuseme kilo kitaka kuenda cho ni walipa shilingi kumi. The high cost of living is affecting both those who reside in informal settlements as well as those in well-off neighborhoods. With the current high cost of living, I'm here in one of the stores in Nairobi just to do a spot check on how many items you can buy with a thousand shillings. I had to make tough decisions on items I needed that are basic and used frequently at home. Out of a thousand shillings, I've already spent 975 shillings on only four items that can really not even feed a household. This is a true depiction of how Kenyans are digging deeper in their pockets just to put food on the table. The latest World Bank survey suggests that one out of every three households in Kenya sleeps hungry due to the high cost of living, as most Kenyans are now spending more than half of their income on food. But as election day draws closer, Amina's hope and that of other women in Kibra is that the new government will lessen the pain of the cost of living among Kenyans. Kula lazima tupige ndo tupate waongozi wazuri, sindiyo? Mtu ambata tuongoza vizuri, hata tushikila sisi wa mama, wajale na hawa tuto wetu ambaye hawa na baba. Beldeen, wali ya ulakiti ya news. All right, so now um, let's head back to politics and uh, let's have a look at the two main protagonists in the next month's general election have already mapped.